Now, someone in Labor's finally said that we need more mining. Resources Minister Madeleine King, I think she's making this speech about now to the 2023 World Mining Congress. And she said that, quote, we will need more mining, not less, if we're going to get to net zero. She went on to say, we all have a role to communicate the importance of the minerals sector in supporting the transition to net zero, particularly to young people. Joining me now is Liberal MP Garth Hamilton, who joins us on the line from Queensland tonight, one of the few politicians who's actually got his hands dirty in a mine and knows how important they are. <laughs> Gee, we've waited a long time, haven't we, Garth, for someone in Labor to work out that the country's actually running off the back of mining? Oh, look, I think the mining industry will be very surprised to hear that, uh, you know, Labor are their friends. We've had what, 15 odd years of them trying to tell people they're going to transition miners out of their jobs. You know, we've seen the coal royalties hike in Queensland, some of the highest rates in the world. And we've got the Environment Minister refusing to give, uh, you know, approvals for mines around Australia. But these, you know, with friends like these, who needs enemies? Yeah, there is total confusion. And I, I think Tanya Plibersek is... is being torn one way and then you've got the the people sitting in Jim Chalmers office Garth are going well hang on a minute when you do the numbers here folks uh, if we're not filling up ships and sending them off to uh, Japan and China and uh, everywhere else in the world loaded up with our our coal and our iron ore we're going to be a very poor country this is the industry that got us through the pandemic. Let's remember that. When everything else went to custard, this is the industry that held up. It's the industry that got us through the GFC. It's the industry that got us out of the 90s recession that we had to have. Um, it's always been there for us. It's the best part of my life, quite frankly, was getting involved in mining as a young kid. Uh, it's given me the world. And unfortunately, when I went through, and here's an important thing for us to see how much damage this sort of, uh, you know, talking down the industry has done. I was one of 50 mining engineers going through UQ. Now you can't even get a mining engineering degree at UQ uh, because young kids think it's a dead industry. They don't see a future in it. Uh, that's a terrible thing. We're reliant upon overseas uh, institutions to provide us with the mining engineers we need to get on and do the job. Yeah, I was talking earlier about uh, the legacy of, of someone like Simon Crean, who was Labor leader in opposition, never as Prime Minister, but he did work as a Trade Minister in, I think, in the Gillard government, at least, or under Kevin Rudd. And, you know, when you talk to someone like a Simon Crean, uh, he understood the value of mining. He understood that the country uh, had to use its natural resources and sell them to the rest of the world to build the schools and the hospitals and the roads and all everything else we need. I think the thing is, he represents that old Labor, um, and at least they were there for the workers. You might get a laugh, but the CFMEU in my patch, uh, in Groom, have campaigned against Labor because Labor weren't supportive of the new Ackland coal mine. Now, it took us 15 years to get that thing uh, through the courts. Finally, we've got it up, thankfully. So There's 400 jobs that we've won locally uh, that, you know, this, this red and green tape uh, from Labor and the Greens was trying to hold back. Uh, but, you know, that, that, that old Labor, it's dying out. It's dying out and it's losing the fight within the caucus. And this new woke Labor is, is so, winning the day. And to try and pretend that they've been friends to the mining industry, uh, they've got a long way, a lot, lot of ground to catch up there. So how does the coalition uh, then get its message through to those workers who work in mining jobs in places like Queensland in particular and Western Australia and the Territory and South Australia? How do you get that message across to those workers that you're the party, you're the friends of the mining industry, and they've got to start talking to each other about voting for the coalition? Well, I think we have to keep it pretty consistent. Mining's a conduit to a better life for a lot of people. This is how to, how to get a good career. This is how to get ahead. And it's, it's a conduit for a, a better Australia. You know, you know, the money that we build, this is how we get the roads, the bridges, the hospitals that we want. The great standard of living that Australia enjoys requires a strong mining industry. And if we can be consistent with that messaging, uh, we, 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 we're there for a better Australia. We, we, we want work uh, for Australians. It, you know, this is the sort of uh, simple liberal values we need to hold ourselves to. And we're not just talking coal and iron ore, are we, Garth? We're talking about rare, rare earth minerals that are you know, the foundation of much of the way we live our lives now. Oh, absolutely. 
you know, and, and Australia's got a great history of providing, you know, exactly what we need, not just to build ourselves, but across the world relies upon us. I do get a bit caught up when you hear Labor couching their language, you know, only supporting critical minerals, you know, making that the big thing. You know, uh, lead, zinc, copper, these are the things that are absolutely critical. Um, they will always be. So lithium's a great addition and so are many others. Uh, but, you know, if you want to build... Yeah, even Labor with their 22,000 kilometres of poles and wires they want to put in to support their renewable energy projects. Right, exactly. That's, that's steel. That's copper. Exactly right, Garth. It's the always a pleasure to you know, catch up with you, mate. And it's nice to hear a message from someone who's actually worked in a mine. Thank you, mate.